Hello guys, this is Ian Green Gardeners again. Today I'm going to be separating my aloe vera plant with Travis's the camera guy. Yeah. A nice close up. And yeah, that's the tag that came with it when I first bought it. I've never got rid of it. Just kept it in the drawer. And basically, with the aloe vera plant, what happens is you get one really big one, so the first one you had, and once it gets to a certain uh, height or size, it sends off all these little shoots here from underneath, so it's a self one, so it comes under and you've got your new roots and whatnot, so I'm not going to go into it. And we are going to be separating all the little ones to get our other little, some more aloe vera plants to eventually gain more and more and more, so we can sell them, can't we Travis? Yeah. But I doubt we would sell them. We've sold a couple when it comes to veggies. Sorry about the noise as well. Some guy's chainsaw and some wood for his log quiet, so I'm just going to take it out of the pot here, nice and carefully. Nice bit of root ball. Yes. And what we're going to do is just slightly loosen the roots up. So try and get as much of the Doesn't matter if you break too, doesn't matter if you break some of the roots, it's not. So you can see all these other little plants here. So what you do is you get one of these side cuts, and there you go. That's one of your aloe vera plants. That's one. So let's see how many we can get from here. That's one. That's one aloe vera plant from this cluster of ours. Yeah. And oh, there's another one. Yeah. So that's two aloe vera plants. Another one. Oh, look at some very little ones here. Let's see if we can get these ones out. Look at these little ones. Oh shit, I'm breaking the roots. It's my language, sorry guys. Look, there's another one. So that's three. That's pretty four, small from a bit far away. Five. Five so far from this one plant, which I've had. Five. Five. Let's see if we can get another one. That one's stuck in there, so we'll get this bigger one over here. Six. Six aloe vera plants. Ah, can't get that one. Try this little one here. I'm trying not to break too many of the roots though. See how that one's it looks like it's rotted, so you're not gonna keep that. You can take curtains from these, but it's another whole video, so I'll do that video another time. And we'll take this one. If you can. Oh, shit. It's still got some roots on, so it should be okay. That should still grow. They are quite good plants to keep. And also, these are really good for burns and cuts and stuff. So, oh, there's another one. Let's see if we can get these two. It's like um, inside Look, as the... As long as they've got a little bit of roots, you'll be okay. Inside so, the leaves like this... They've got like little spikes, so be careful in case you've got a certain variety which is really spiky. See, and they have a kind of gel in it, so... Yeah. It's, it, it's quite... Good for like if cuts burns that stuff kind of like stuff, that. Yeah. So is that all of them? Oh no, there's two more here. That one doesn't seem to have many roots, and I've just snapped that one off. So I'm not sure if that will still grow, but I'm sure it will put out some roots. Let's see if we get this other one here. There we go. There's mm. another one. Look, that's got a nice little root on it. And that is our mother aloe vera plant. So from that one plant, which I've had, we have now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve plants, including the big one, thirteen plants. So what we're gonna do is I've got some good potting mix here with some perlite. I think we've done this in the last episode. Yeah, I think we did, didn't we? Yeah. So we're just gonna fill this. Sorry up. about this, but we had we had a bit of confusion with the internet. So yeah. it took a bit a long time to Just get another gently. video. See? And then we're going to take our mother plant. See, that's all. I'm just going to chuck back into my thing. So with the mother plant, we are just going to... This is the mother plant. You don't want to destroy this one because you will get more off this. Yes, you will. Over time, it will send out more and more little shoots. So take some soil out. Didn't need all that to start with. So there you go. So that, leave a little bit in the bottom. Like like this. Planting. Wait, take it out. Yep. So that's how much you need to leave in, so. Yeah, make sure you've got plenty in. That, I don't know where If you've got anything from. like that, this or probably, that little rubbish, kind of that. Just dispose yeah. them in a cotton pump spin, won't we, Travis? Yeah. Right, with this, this pot's probably still a bit too small, but I'll exchange it later. Like, or yeah. next time. Right, you get your compost, just slightly settle it in. So just work the soil around the roots, try not to leave any air pockets. And these are quite good because you can water, you can leave them 
to dry out and it doesn't matter. So if your person doesn't have really much time to do watering, it's probably the plant for you. Along with all the other cactus plants, they're quite good. So we just firm it around the soil where the roots were, like so. And, and nope. sometimes if you don't have enough soil, it may lean over a bit if you haven't compacted it properly or it's just not going to stay. You can actually prop it with a stake. So if you get all the these... Stake? Yeah, a wooden stake. Bamboo cane, Travis. Oh. So firm it round and there's your plant again. That's your aloe vera plant back. So you put that onto the side. So you've got one. That's one aloe vera plant. Travis, don't. I was going to put it on the path. So that's one aloe vera plant and it's not staying up properly so I'm probably going to have to prop this. Just think it's about that high onto the box. Yeah. So, and this is a big box, so. It is, Travis, yes it is. Um, look how big the box is compared to that. I reckon that would grow a lot bigger than this, than the box. It can get to some quite astonishing sizes. So I'm just firming it around the roots, chuck a bit more soil in. Ooh. Make sure you give them a well watering after you've planted them as well, so. Oh. You're going to stand up. You've got dead legs. Yeah. <laughs> so that's two. And just keep going until you've done them all. Because I'm sure you won't be able to be wanting to all do it. All grandparents and um, granddads who might need these, like, for if you babysitting for a kid you, and he gets burnt or something like that, you might need to keep, you might have, to have one in your house somewhere. Yeah, you just snap one off and rub it on the burn of the cut. But if you look on other people's well, videos... I think that one's coming off. No, it'll be fine, Travis. Oh, it is and... Off. Should be fine, though. So we just keep... You, them. you will need to put some fertiliser in there. I don't really... Travis, I don't think we need fertiliser for aloe vera plants, do we? Don't know. We got perlite, and that should be enough for now. So right, I'm going to take this one off because, look, right, like I was saying, it's really good for burns and cuts. Because what you do is you just do that, and see that gooey gel in there. That gel is what you do. So you just do that. Don't shit on me. Yeah, no, I'll do it. I've got look, cut see, there. see these little cuts. These little cuts. You just get the gel, and you just literally dab it on like that. It's it, really, really. It good. looks a bit green. Yeah, it is green. Aloe vera is green, Travis, if you didn't know that. No. So you just do that, make sure it's all over the cut, and then that is a natural healing. So if you are one of those people who like aloe vera plants and you can you want the aloe vera for its properties, then you just just squeeze it gently and then you can extract <laughs> You can extract your aloe vera. See it? That droplet. Or you could that get a is, bottle and make really a whole good. bottle of it. Oh, Looks a bit like snot. You're gonna have to avoid that snot-looking colour. Yeah, I've got a bit of dry. No, that's not mine. That's how it leaves stuff. What? That's two. Get a bit more compact out of Yeah, I am. Stings. What the elevator? Yeah. The stings. <laughs> hmm. Don't know the truth. I don't know why it stings. No, because it's a fresh cut off crystal. Oh yeah. I think it's a natural cleaning agent as well, but I'm not too sure. Yes, it is. It's a natural cleaning agent. Because you get the aloe vera gels and all the stuff, but I prefer to just get it straight off my plant. You can probably see where. No, you can't. I've taken them all off. Because I take mine right from the bottom when I get a leaf. Just so, like the one where we... um, Just like... Where is it? Just like that one, what we took off. Just like that. That's how we take them off. So we get a lot more gel. Yeah. The big ones are the better ones. The bigger it is, the better, I say. See I'm that mother plant? Yeah. That would probably give a half a cup, probably, that whole plant. Yeah, a bit more than half a plant, I'd say, Travis. That whole plant? Yeah. I'd think you'd probably get about a cup if you were extracting it properly. Make sure, I may have already said this, but make sure you give them a really good walk in after just leaving to the thingy. 
I'm not too sure if they like a lot of water or a lot, little bit. I, I don't was, think they do. No, I don't think they do, do they, Travis? Because they're a cactus plant. Kind of. So you just turn your soil around. That's where you get them in the desert. I think you do. Well, they are a desert plant. I'm sure they are. But if I'm wrong about that, you can please you can comment and tell me that I have made a mistake. All comments are appreciated. Subscribe if you want more videos. But we do have a problem with our connection at the moment. Sometimes it doesn't let us upload videos and it's really a pain in the ass. Uh, Blake, what's your language? I know. That's only ass. Ass, ass, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We've still got loads to go. We've got... One, two, three, four, five, six to go. Six plants to go. We're halfway You're there. You're going to demonstrate how you put them in? Yep, I'll demonstrate again. So, a decent amount of soil. So these are only little ones so you don't need. There's only a little root ball. So place... No, I'm going to... A little bit less than that. Right. Right, yeah, get your it. thing. Level. Put it in. So uh -huh. you, to the size you want it. And grab your soil and firm it around the roots. So you cover all the roots. Like that. Just give it a little tap down so you push the soil down and you then might. refill it a bit more. Little lumps like that. That's not my soil. You saw me, I just chucked my soil back on here with the other soil. That's a, I think that's a mixture of cocoa peat, a lot of it, which I shouldn't have done to be honest, because that's well draining. Not well draining, well moisturising. So cocoa peat locks in locks in the moisture in the soil so you don't have to keep you don't have to water really regularly if you've got really, really good drain soil. 11 minutes. Okay, please subscribe guys, it would be appreciated, and like if you really liked it, please comment, subscribe, like, you know the drill, and that's it for this one, thanks from the Eden Green Gardeners, me and Travis.